Hey everyone. So welcome back to another lesson. Um, in this lesson, we're going to specifically talk about setting up environment lights um, and atmosphere. Uh, so what does atmosphere do for us? So I've just got this little test scene here. Um, as you can see, just third person running around. So what right now we really don't have any any atmosphere as far as like atmosphere perspective or anything you can see that this sphere way in the background doesn't really look much bigger or different in distance than this sphere right there um, so we're going to change that so i'm just going to run back over here and hit escape and let's go ahead and set this up so right now this is just a basic scene um, if you go to file new level and basic right here um, which brings in some stuff that we're going to get rid of so under lighting i'm just going to delete all of this we have a completely black scene and just delete the folder so now we can't see anything uh, so we have, there's this really cool tool if we go to window and we go down here to environment light mixer and this is a great tool that kind of helps sets light up for us. Um, so we can do only atmospheric lights. Um, there's some different settings here, minimal, normal, and advanced. We're just going to use minimal. And we're going to create a skylight, an atmospheric light, a sky and atmosphere, volumetric clouds, and a height fog. And we're pretty much back to the exact starting point from basic. Um, but we've we've got rid of all of the settings and stuff that kind of comes in with that, uh, which we definitely want to do. Um, so first things first, let's go ahead and talk about fog. So here's our exponential height fog right here. And we can crank fog density up and down under our details panel. Um, but really this doesn't look like it's doing too much for us. Um, it's because this slider. So if I go it's a very sensitive slider. So I go to 0.5. Now you can see we've got really heavy fog. Um, we can see our background sphere is almost not visible. So let's go to 0.25, maybe even 0.1. There we go. So now if you had a distant mountain, it's going to look like it's back there um, as a, a distant mountain. Um, what else can we do here? Um, other things that I typically do uh, for my fog is go down here to volumetric fog and I check that um, and what that does is it takes the light from our skylight or from our directional light up here and includes that into the fog of volume so light is actually bouncing around the scene now um, because it's volumetric um, we can do light uh, shafts as well um, and there's all kinds of settings, but this is typic This is about usually as far as I go with it, um, depending on the look, right, of the uh, of the scene. So let's go ahead and let's add some more lights. I'm going to go ahead and get rid of this directional light for now, um, so we don't have any light in our scene. Um, so just imagine it's a nighttime scene. It's maybe a city street or something, and we've got some lights. Now one thing you're going to notice is see how this light's getting brighter again. So we haven't set up our post process volume which we're going to do right now um, just so we can get an accurate read on our, uh, on our lighting. So in the post process volume I'm going to go EXT and or E make sure infinite extent is checked then I'm going to go to exposure this should all be old hat to you guys by now and set the minimum max to two and two. Alrighty. And now we're going to go back to our light here and we can see we, we're not really get rid of that. So now if I crank up our intensity, we're actually getting a correct source here. Um, so the other thing on this point light that I'm going to do is go to volume, just type in VEO, and I'm going to crank the scattering up a bit and cast volumetric shadows. So now 
let's you know it's also let's do some color on here we'll just change it to green and if I duplicate this this purple and maybe a blue and let's run around this real quick so now we can see as I run into this fog it's affecting my character it's affecting other things around it um, which in Unreal Engine 5 this works incredibly well it didn't work too hot um, before but the true volumetric light is now in Unreal and if you can see we're actually getting light beams as well from the light um, so now if we wanted to add our environment light back in here or our directional light let's just go and add that back in go to mixer here and just create an atmospheric light whoops don't want that so here's our directional light again um, so what we can do with this we can go ahead and just turn this down a bit say it's more like a dust scene and we can see how these lights are now interacting really really well um, we can of course go back to our fog now we can start messing around with these settings um, so let's go to like point two um, we can also affect the distance of where this stops and starts um, I don't touch it very often you can also affect the start distance I don't touch these very often most of this stuff just works right out of the box um, in Unreal uh, one other thing I wanted to talk about is the skylight so right now we're getting a captured skylight so if I turn this to real-time capture it's basically going to take an image of this and it's going to make it our cube map so I'm going to uncheck that and I'm going to specify a cube map here and I'm going to grab this one to attempt to try to move this one over here it's not working let's try to find maybe there's another map in here try this one yeah I just didn't have uh, the cube map selected so I still had this as a captured scene so if I just specify cube map and then grab this map again it should go in there yep and now it's there so if you can see the difference it's slight but it's adding some color back in you can notice it really back here um, the cube map revolution I'm just gonna raise that up to 512 um, and then what you can see with the intensity scale we can really start to mess with things um, just set that back to one yeah let's go to 0.5 and all the rest of this we can and we can affect the indirect and the scattering here um, but you won't see too much of a difference so that's really the basics of atmosphere it's really easy to set up in unreal um, obviously with our other lights you're gonna get the same if I go over here with the spotlight and I search volume you can cast volumetric shadows yeah, let's change this color to something like yeah. so this uh, the spotlight volumetric scattering um, some of these numbers just you have to either crank them up or down so if I if I just put this to four we're not getting anything from it at all uh, but if I crank this up to 50 you're gonna start to see it like so and we can go even higher we can spread that cone angle out radius and we can really like crank this number up too so now if I play 
Let's see. Getting really cool interaction. So you can get some really fun, awesome lighting effects just messing with atmosphere. So if I go over here off into the distance, you can see now that could be considered almost like a city or something. And it's got real nice accurate fall off as well. Pretty cool. Um, and that's basically it. Uh, that's how to kind of set up fog and some atmosphere in your scenes. Um, for the next assignment, you're basically going to add some volume, uh, some volumetric effects and volumetric lighting um, where it's appropriate in your scenes and just have fun with it. Um, just creating kind of interesting space with light. And that's it. Thanks, everyone.